video on my Intel Core i7 machine on overclocking it to 5 gigahertz. So I'm just showing you guys that I do have Intel machines. This one here, the Sandy Bridge Extreme CPU 3820, okay, from Intel, overclocked to 5 gigahertz. I'm going to show you how I did it. I'll give you all the specs and links to all the parts that I'm using in this machine. As you can see, I'm using the Noctua DH14 CPU cooler. I've reviewed this before, so we're overclocking it on air. I'll put a liquid cooler in here later, and we'll compare the temperatures. But right now, 5 gigahertz on air, okay, acceptable voltages and temperatures already. So the Noctua CPU cooler is doing a great job considering how much I'm pushing to extreme. Now the key thing for me in order to get 5 gigahertz in this case was to upgrade the bias on this board. The previous bias that I had would not allow me to get that. I could only get like 4.7 gigahertz. So definitely got an increase in performance with this bias, more stable, and I was able to have some nice tight timings of 99924 on this Patriot memory also. So this gives you a good idea on how I was able to get really good performance and I'll do a part two video on benchmarks but this one here this video just shows you the system it shows you the bias settings and how I was able to get five gigahertz okay so it can be done however please be warned that I don't want you trying this expecting that this is a tutorial it is not it's just showing you how I did it okay if you try to do this you might break your CPU okay so I just thought I'd mention that now going into the Republic of Gamers bias here terrific bias has lots of overclocking features I set it to manual because I need to go and tweak things the bus frequency is set to 128.375 and the multiplier is set to 39 okay I did a lot of testing back and forth in order to get it stable in Windows 8 using prime 95 and running all the cores this is a true overclock there are no cores disabled there is no open cases here this is a real live overclocking situation and I have here the voltage of the CPU set to 1.47 volts okay and you can see here the memory settings you can see what I have set to auto and um, you know a lot of people try to overclock things and then they start disabling the wrong things or enabling other things and then of course they can't get the right overclock or the system isn't stable in Windows this truly is a stable machine running at 5 gigahertz which is absolutely amazing now going to the next screen here I did increase the RAM voltage to 1.6 which is not a lot really by default it was set to 1.5 so I increased it to 1.6 just to make sure that I had stable um, you know performance coming out of that memory when it's slightly overclocked or at tight memory settings now going to the next screen here on the digi power control that's where the load line calibration uh, settings are I set it to extreme that allows fluctuations in voltage so even though I set the the voltage to 1.47 volts for the CPU it'll go over 1.5 volts when I'm running it all at 100 percent full load because it needs that extreme uh, performance out of it out of there and more voltage more energy is required obviously now on the next screen here you can see that I pretty much left all of these options enabled so I didn't really have to touch anything when it came to the CPU configuration however I did have to turn things off under the power management configuration for the CPU so the CPU C1E was disabled and also the speed step technology I disabled so that way um, it doesn't try to um, clock down or decrease the voltage I wanted stable voltage coming out of it and that's how I got 5 gigahertz so this gives you a good idea on how I was able to do it the system is running stable like I said a little bit hot on uh, the uh, temperatures obviously if they run at 100 percent all the cores but when are you really doing that I don't really use all four cores at 100 percent so the voltages are very respectable we'll do some benchmarks in part two and uh, comment below let me know what you think and again thank you for watching